Hi P4, that's Teacher Valentine and today is our very first online class. I hope you guys are doing well and do you miss me? Because I miss you and I'm hoping that I'll see you very very soon in real life. And now let's begin. Our topic today is going shopping. Going shopping. Lesson 13, page number 34. Going shopping. And before we start, and before we start, I'd like to ask you to open your book on page number 44, page number 44, and let's do what you usually do. Let's read all these words in English and in Thai for better understanding. I'll go with English, and you guys please repeat after me, and then read it in Thai, okay? Okay, let's go. All together, all together, all together, like everyone, right? Cashier, cashier is a person handing payments and bills in the store or in the bank. Change, change, what does it mean? Replace with another. Cosmetics, something we apply on our face or our body. Cosmetics, dairy, dairy, that's room or building where milk is kept or milky products or dairy products, for example, the cheese, milk, yogurt, Department store. Department store. Basically, there you can buy anything you want. Else. Else means other. Grow. I hope you know. What does it mean? Interesting. Kind, love, love, usually we use this word with bread to explain that shape of bread. Merchant, person involved in a wholesale trade. Pair means two matching pieces, right? Pair of shoes, for example. Sour. Oh, sorry, painting, painting. Sour. Sour is a taste. For example, lemon. Lemon is very sour. Shop assistant, someone who can help or assist you in a shop. Size, that's a volume or mass. Shopkeeper, shopkeeper, the owner of a shop. Sweet. It's a taste. Candies, honey, fruits. Trolley. Trolley is a big basket with wheels. We usually use it in a shop to put all our stuff. Wear. Wear clothes, for example. Wrap. Wrap, cover something or someone with paper or clothes or blanket. 
we can wrap our gifts or presents or we can wrap the scarf around our neck. Here are some examples. How do we use these words in sentences? Altogether, there were 38 people in the bus. The cashier, she is a cashier in a bank. I want to change my eating habits. For example, I eat a lot of junk food, right? So I want to change my eating habits. I want to be healthier. I want to start eating fruits and vegetables. Lipstick and cream are cosmetics. We bought milk at the dairy. I bought the t-shirt at the department store. What else do you want? What else do you want? Money doesn't grow on trees. That's right, money doesn't grow on trees. The TV show was interesting. My mother is kind. A loaf of bread cost 30 Thai baht. His father is a merchant. I bought a new pair of shoes. I will do some painting this afternoon. It means I'm going to paint this afternoon after work, for example. This apple is really sour. Or, this lemon is really sour. Oh, I think I can feel the taste of the lemon now. My brother is a shop assistant. This jacket is just my size. It means this jacket fits me very, very well. The shopkeeper looked at me. Honey is sweet. We need a shopping trolley. I wear yellow polo on Monday, means I wear yellow polo every Monday. Wrap a scarf around your neck. When it's cold, we usually wrap a scarf around our neck. Grammar check. How much is and how much are. When we go shopping and want to know about pricing, we usually ask, a salesman, a shopkeeper, how much is or how much are. So, when do you use how much is and when do you use how much are? Look at the picture, please. What do we have here? We have a toothbrush and the bananas. So, how do you think? Right, we use how much is with a singular noun. And we use how much are with a pl with plural noun. Let's refresh our memory. What are nouns? Nouns are names of person, place, animal, and thing. Nouns can be singular and nouns can be plural. Singular noun, that's only one thing. Look at the picture. For example, book, pen, girl, cake, shoe, and what's here? House. They are singular nouns. And plural, when we have more than one thing, animal, person, or place. Pair of shoes. How many pants do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pants, two cakes, houses, two girls, books. So far, so good. How much is the toothbrush? It is 10 Thai baht. Please notice it is equals it. We usually use it because it's convenient. How much are 
the bananas are because we have how many bananas? One, two, three. We have three bananas. They are 50 Thai baht. They are equals there. Here are some more examples. How much is the bottle of water? It's 10 Thai baht. How much are the airports? They are 3,000 Thai baht. How much is the loaf of bread? It's 15 Thai baht. And how much are candies? They're 30 Thai baht. So when we go shopping and when we buy something, we usually go to a specific store. For example, we buy shoes in the shoe department or shoe store. We buy books, magazines and newspapers in the books department, bookstore. We deposit and withdraw money in the bank. We buy food in the supermarket. We eat food in the restaurant. We buy pets or pet clothes in a pet shop. We buy toys in the toy store. We buy candies and sweets in the candy shop. We buy necklaces and rings in the jewelry department. We buy neckties in the men's clothing store or men's clothing department. We buy skirts in the women's clothing department. We buy tables, chairs, beds in the furniture department, furniture department. And language to use, usually shopkeeper or salesman ask, asks us, may I help you? May I help you? May I help you? And your response, yes, please. Yes, please. May I help you? Yes, please. What do you want? He or she asks, what do you want? And you say, I want, for example, three red pants. May I help you? Yes, please. I want a hamburger. I want and I would like to buy. I want and I would like to buy. You can use both, but I would like I would like to. That's more polite. I would like to buy a skirt. I would like that's polite way to ask what you want. I would like to buy a skirt. I would like to buy a skirt. Or I want to buy a skirt. May I help you? Yes, please. What do you want? I want a 
Bike. I want a bike or bicycle. I would like to buy a bicycle. When we want to know about the pricing, we usually ask how much does it cost? How much does it cost? It costs 10 Thai baht, for example. And some things are expensive and some things are cheap. Expensive means costs a lot of money. Look at the picture. This red bicycle costs 10,000 baht. And it is very expensive. And look at the picture on the right. Cheap. This bicycle, yellow one, costs 100 baht. And wow, that is very cheap. That is very cheap. For today, we finished and our homework. Will be the page number thirty five, page number thirty six, page number thirty seven, and page number thirty eight. On the page number thirty five, you have to read a conversation. Mary and Roger are talking about buying some fruit at the mall in Bangkok. They are on holiday. They come from Canada and in the next page page number 36 you have to answer five questions one two three four five after that please match numbers with letters activity number one on the page number 36 Page number 37, match pictures with words. Match these pictures with words. How many pictures do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. And finally, page number 38, activity number three. Where can you find the following things? So, example, we buy shoes in a shoe store. You have to write down where we can buy boots, sugar sofa, skirt, neckties, and rings. So far, so good? Okay, guys, I hope um, today's lesson was very helpful and I hope you guys will come back very soon. Take care of yourself, wash your hands and I'll see you. Bye-bye.